Hey, Manny Fesh. It's the 7th of October, 2018. And there's a few things I want to share with you, but I'm just going to start with this one. Uh, this article came out a couple days ago about the Catholic Church facing its gravest crisis since the Protestant Reformation. I found that to be a very interesting headline. At the same time, we have now 13 states are investigating the catholic church okay 13 13 colonies the founding of this country so on and so forth right but the worst crisis since the reformation well right now is the 500th year since the reformation right we are in the 500th year and as of October 31st, I mean, go figure that out, right? It had to be on what we now see, uh, most people anyway, see as Halloween. It had to fall on that day, right? This is just crazy stuff. But that was the day that he nailed the 95 thesis to the door and everything changed, okay? The Protestant division, the whole thing. And now we have, I don't know how many thousands of denominations uh, of Protestant, okay? It's just gone completely haywire. And that's all by design. That's, that's the devil's design, right? But what I saw was, you know, we're in the 500th year. And of course, this makes me think of uh, Trump in the uh, visit to the Vatican because, you know, the link with the, with the, D.C. and the 13 colonies, okay? This is just how my mind works 500 years ago. Well, you remember Trump, when he visited the Vatican, okay? He gave some gifts. He gave a lotus flower sculpture, and he gave this giant book of Martin Luther King Jr.'s books or what have you, okay? It was a collection of Martin Luther King Jr.'s books, but it was Martin Luther. This is in the 500th year of the Reformation when Martin Luther nailed the 95 Theses to the door, right? 500 years. So I'm looking at this. I realize that this is on the 24th of May, 2017. So I have to go and look. And lo and behold, from the 24th of May, 2017 to today... We have 500 days. I mean, think about this. <laughs> this is the craziness, you guys. On the 500th year anniversary, 500 days since he gave the book of Martin Luther to the Pope. With his black suit and his black and white striped tie. We could get into the Lotus and we could get into all of these things. I pet goat, the whole thing. But that's just crazy. Okay. And I, and I'm not pursuing this avenue right now because something else happened that was just crazy, guys. You gotta, you gotta try and wrap your mind around this because I still have it. But last night or yesterday afternoon, uh, we're out in the yard and you got to understand where I live is pretty doggone remote and there's no major metropolitan areas within 30, 40 miles. And so, you know, you don't get a lot of air traffic. You don't get, it's very quiet and very, it's awesome. But this, we could hear it coming a long ways away. It was so low. Kim comes flying over my house, right? I'm like, wow, I've, since I've lived here and been in this area, I've never, you just never, okay? And there's this dig safe sign, 811 dig safe with the circle, with the slash through it, you know, like the uh, sign on the uh, Phoenix coin, dig safe, call 811 before you dig, right? It just enters right into my mind, Ezekiel 8. Digging in the wall before you dig. This is this is Ezekiel and his vision with God to Jerusalem. Okay? And he said unto him, Dig now in the wall. And when I digged in the wall, behold a door. And he said, Go in and behold the wicked abominations they do here. Okay? 
Now, Ezekiel 8, 11, there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel, right? 8, 11, the same stinking number that they tell you to call dig safe. But when they, check this out, the 70 elders, that reminded me of last year. Now, I got to find this stuff. You got to bear with me, guys. This, this all comes very quickly. <laughs> all right. Last year, they dedicated their synagogue in the wall, in the Western Wall, in the Western Wall tunnels with 70 inner circle chairs. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And there stood before them the 70 men of the ancients, the house of the Israel, stood Jezaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Ezekiel 8.11, digging in the wall. And this comes over my house, right? Well, don't end there. The very same day they did this last year, they also had the incense for the first time in 2,000 years. Every man had the censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. I mean, come on. And this is this keeps returning to me. This is just telling us, I mean, this is my interpretation, is just once again showing us the works that these people are doing in the dark in what we call Israel. And the people running Israel are not our friends. I'm telling you right now. And they are devising their devices and they are doing works in the dark that are going to uh, not be good for the rest of the world if you're not one of them, even if you are one of them. It's still not going to be good. And Jesus is the only escape from all of this stuff because it's going to happen. These things are coming upon the earth. It's just when God moves, he moves. So you got to be ready for it when he moves. You understand? I mean, this is... <laughs> Come on. Really? Really? And 500 days exactly from when Trump gave the Pope the Martin Luther books in the Lotus dressed for a funeral with his Masonic tie. I mean, come on. They're all in it together, you guys. All of them. And this goes so much deeper. I mean, as it always does, you guys know. The 13 states are investigating the church, which is in its worst crisis since the Reformation. Okay? This, I mean... How deep could we go? We could go real deep. There's your thesis nailed to the door. There's your church falling apart. There's your communists, your Eastern Orthodox. There's your Christians, right? So-called Christians. There's Trump. I mean, this stuff goes so deep. There's your Supreme Court that just we've just been watching. Your, your Vatican and Egypt, okay? And then I happen to get a random Bible verse this morning... Okay, where, where is it? I got to show you this stuff. Joshua 24, 14 and 15. You know, serve the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. I'm just telling you, this all connects and it's all coming to a head. It's all being revealed. These wicked powers and principalities have been working this stuff forever and brought nothing but death and terror and ugliness and darkness to this world and it's about to end okay so you need to be in christ jesus washed in his blood if you don't know him call on his name with a sincere humble heart knowing that you cannot save yourself nor can any man any man so i had to share this stuff with you that's just crazy this stuff doesn't happen just for nothing and not not in God's world, it doesn't. <laughs> Call 811 before you dig. So, I guess that's about it for this one. I might come back and, and actually make it a little bit clearer for you. I know I can go all over the place. I don't mean to. But, this is crazy. This is this is actually quite, quite something that, <laughs> that God shares with us. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, you know, pray on that, please, because I know it means something. It all ties together, 
It has to do with the new world currency. It has to do with the United States, big time for sure. I mean, come on. The gods that your fathers worshipped on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And this is on our great seal of the land of the free and the home of the brave. I mean, I'm just saying, you guys, this is all coming to play. And just like Joshua said, choose this day whom you will serve. That's just the way it is. It truly is. As for me, in my house, we'll serve the Lord. Call 811 before you dig, okay? Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,